Now let's also look at a few backlink and link building tools of SEMrush. You probably know that having high quality backlinks pointing to your website is very important in terms of increasing your authority in a specific industry and therefore also being able to rank higher for more competitive keywords. So the first thing I would do is go to the backlink gap tool. And here we can compare our backlink profile with other competitor websites to see if we need to spend some more time and resources on getting backlinks and also find some websites we could potentially get backlinks from. So first you wanna enter your domain. I'm just gonna um, use the Mailer Lite website again. And then here we wanna add some competitors. So I'm just gonna use some that um, SEMrush is offering me here. So let's lose this, this, and maybe get response. Then let's click on fight prospects. Then here, let's first click on this drop down arrow for the charts, which will give us a nice overview of how well we are doing compared to the competition. So first of all, for the authority score, you can see that most of the competitors are round about in the same range. Everybody is about 50 authority score with the exception of subscribepage.com. They're quite a bit lower, so they have a lot of work to do in terms of increasing their authority score and getting more backlinks. And under referring domains, we can see how much MailerLite has been investing in SEO and backlinks over the last 12 months. You can just see how many more backlinks they have compared to the competition. So here we can already see that MailerLite is doing an incredible job. But what's really interesting is actually the prospects for section here. This shows us what websites our competitors have backlinks from, but we don't. So for example, Forbes.com is, is a very authoritative website. It has a score of 100, which is insanely high. It's the highest one you can have. And all of our competitors have backlinks from Forbes.com, but MailerLite has zero backlinks. So this would definitely be a good opportunity to get in contact with Forbes and maybe talk to them about uh, exchanging backlinks or what we would have to do to get a backlink from this page. And then we have another tool to help you finding good websites to get links from, which is this link building tool. So let's click on this. Then here, let's enter our domain. In this case, I'm gonna again use mailerlite.com. Then just continue here. And here we have some of the main competitors. Let's click on start link building. And here, once it's done analyzing, we can click on prospects and then look at all of the potential prospects to get backlinks from. Here we can also sort by prospects based on keywords or also based on competitors. So once you find or decide on who you want to contact, you can just click on to in progress and then it will be kind of moved along in the process and you can click on in progress here. And this shows you your list of all of the websites you want to contact. You can even contact them in the SEMrush tool. So when we click on contact here, you can connect your email and then do all the communication through SEMrush which will probably make it a lot easier for you to keep track of your link building activities. Now 